The Westmoreland Career and Technology Center enhances the career opportunities of students by developing their career, technical, and academic skills to prepare them for the demands of business and industry. Our state-of-the-art facilities give our students hands-on experience in a real-world environment. Our programs include Automotive Collision Technology, Automotive Technology, CAD and Drafting Technology, Carpentry, Commercial and Advertising Art, Computer and Information Science, Construction Trades Technology, Cosmetology, Culinary Arts, Electrical Technology, Graphic Design, Health Occupations Technology, Heating and Air Conditioning, Horticulture, Logistics and Warehouse Management, Machine Trades Technology, Masonry, Mechatronics, Painting and Decorating Trades, Plumbing, Power Line, Protective Services for Grades 10 to 12, Welding, and Health Safety and Physical Education Wellness. Students enrolled in the Automotive Collision Technology Program are exposed to the latest equipment and develop skills necessary to be an effective auto collision specialist. Students will be knowledgeable in the repair and restoration of the body and frame of automobiles. Students will work with practical applications in estimating, frame straightening, metal straightening, panel replacement, MIG welding, plasma cutting, plastic repairs, and painting which includes the state-of-the-art water-based technology. This program has received national certification by the National Institute for Automotive Service Excellence. Auto closing technology is basically just hands-on working with materials and the laboring of basically today's cars and everything. If one gets damaged or rust repair or just needs painted. Pretty much right now I already got a job working for an auto collision place. Um, I'm gonna still do that after but I'm gonna go to WCCC for um, welding and a little bit more higher education and get into some other stuff. Students interested in the service and repair of automotive equipment will find the auto technology program an outstanding choice. Students will be trained to utilize the latest diagnostic equipment in the industry. Emphasis is placed on standard shift drive and conventional and front wheel drive theory. Exploration will include a study of automotive electronics. Advanced students will receive instruction in the following areas, air conditioning, wheel alignment and brakes. Students will also complete the State Vehicle Safety and Emissions Inspector certifications. Students will work toward the ASE, Automotive Standards of Excellence certification, and may participate in the AYES, Automotive Youth Education Systems internship. My dad works on cars, so I always like working on them, and then uh, our school had a chance to uh, come, come here, and we looked at three programs, and this one here just caught my attention. I started off here, and I've been learning since, and I think it's a really good program. Students enrolled in the drafting program will develop the ability to interpret and construct architectural and mechanical drawings. Students will construct these drawings using the latest computer-aided drafting software packages used in the industry today. Advanced work includes developing surfaces and intersections, welding instructional drawings, and detailed working drawings. After CTC, I'm going to attend college for architectural uh, drafting. I already got accepted to a college because of my uh, previous knowledge from the school. Carpentry students develop skills to become effective members of a construction team. Students will gain valuable skills that will enable them to produce residential and commercial framework, cabinetry, and other forms of woodwork. The program consists of practical application in woodworking, tool machine handling, building layout, and framing. Skills will also be developed in roof construction, exterior, interior finish work, stair construction, and concrete forms. Students are also exposed to the various inspection and building code requirements. Since I've been about three years old, I've always liked um, just building and being outside in general. And we went on a tour here in eighth grade and went to carpentry, and that's, just, that's what I wanted to do. It's a real good program that, uh, you know, you learn a lot of good stuff, meet a lot of nice people. You're going to learn a lot and be able to expand on something that 
it's worth something nowadays. The commercial art students learn to serve the communication media in today's world. Books, posters, packages, displays, and signs. The program consists of practical application as well as basic theory. The practical application consists of drawing, figure construction and anatomy, cartooning, layout and graphic design, lettering and topography, mechanical overlays, and portfolio assembly. The theoretical studies include color, layout design, and composition, as well as advertising art. I created recently something for culinary. Um, we did business cards in there. Um, I've created a business card for my cousin who also does hair, so basically anything that has to do with advertising and design, that's what I do. Mainly the idea behind it is advertising, but when you take this class, you can really go into anything art related. It prepares you for that. I mean, I have a lot of fun here. There's tons of people from other schools you get to meet and you get to learn about them and you all share like the same interests. The fast-paced, ever-changing computer field has opened many opportunities for individuals with a desire to work with computers. Those enrolled in the program will receive an overview of computer fundamentals. Students will have an extensive study of the software packages available on Microsoft Office, such as Word, PowerPoint, Access, and Excel. A comparison of text editors and WYSIWYG editors for web development will be completed. An opportunity to explore and become knowledgeable in Visual Basic, Oracle, SQL, and Java programming will be given to the students. I had actually never thought about coming here and then I was sitting in history class in ninth grade and we had a presentation from one of the guidance counselors and I heard about this and I wanted to be a game developer because I love playing video games. So I came in for a tour and then I decided to come. You learn college level coding here so you don't have to take the extra unnecessary courses there. You're getting like professional grade, you get certified here. It's it's free, so there's nothing, no downsides to it. A skilled trades mechanic is a valuable part of any construction team. Students in this program will become skilled and knowledgeable in plumbing, carpentry, electricity, painting, wall coverings, and masonry. A trained professional can work on new construction as well as restoration projects. Students enrolled in the Construction Trades program will also gain valuable skills in blueprint reading, tool and material handling, and building code requirements. I'd really have to say I really like seeing the masonry work. It really interests me. Um, I like the idea of being a handyman, able to fix anything myself, able to build a house. CWCTC has definitely made me a better person by expanding my knowledge on things that I could do myself and preparing me to get a job in the real world after high school. If someone asks me about this program that I'm in or coming to this school, I tell them it's the best thing they could ever do, best decision to make because it's, you can learn a lot and like I said, it prepares you for getting a job afterwards. Students enrolled in the cosmetology program will gain skills in haircutting techniques, shampooing, and coloring, and also develop skills in manicures, pedicures, and massages. Exploration is placed on hair structure, anatomy, and sanitation. A simulated salon environment is used by students to allow for practice of these skills. The goal of the program is for students to gain skill proficiency in preparation for the State Board of Cosmetology exam. CTC has taught me so many skills, not just in my program area, but like life skills and I made friends that I can have forever. Like they have inspired me to do other things than just in my shop. I've been student of the month, I've got on bulletin boards, I've been in the newspaper from CTC and now I get to go to competition so they've done a lot for me. A reputation for serving and preparing good food is essential for any restaurant, hotel, or resort. The culinary arts students will gain the skills to be an effective part of the hospitality industry. Students will develop skills in hot, cold food preparation, baking, and menu planning in the school's kitchen. 
Techniques in cake decorating and other confectionery items will be explored. Emphasis will be placed on safety, nutrition, and restaurant operation. I always liked cooking and baking ever since I was little, and then I heard about the Technical Center through the home school and found out that they had culinary arts, and then I just decided that I wanted to do that. I'm planning on going to three C's for culinary arts and hopefully own my own restaurant whenever I graduate from there. Electricity plays a vital role in the way we live, work, and spend our leisure time. Skilled electricians are needed to perform work in industrial, public, and residential buildings. Students acquire practical application in the installation and maintenance of programmable controls, residential wiring, electrical circuits, and commercial wiring. Students will also have the opportunity to learn solar and wind technology. Students will gain valuable skills when working with transformers, capacitors, resistors, inductors, and conduit bending. Proficiency will be developed in blueprint reading and understanding of the National Electrical Code. It's a lot of book work, but you do a mix of book work and hands-on work, so you'd be able to learn while you actually did it. So it helped you learn to troubleshoot and actually helps you understand what you're doing. Students looking for a future that will enable them to communicate through multiple modalities will enjoy the graphic design program. The program consists of an overview of the graphic technology field. Students will explore such areas as graphic design, art, digital design, photography, pre-press production, offset printing, bindery work, silkscreen production, as well as desktop publishing. Students enrolled in this program will also generate and edit photography with Adobe Editing and Design products. The program is basically anything that has to do with the graphics, communication, anything in it. Um, we do anything from making t-shirts to photography to printing press. We cover it all basically. CWCTC is actually preparing me very well for this. Um, I've learned so many new programs, it's unbelievable. It covers a variety of just everything and the teachers here are amazing. Health Occupations Technology is a program designed to prepare individuals for entry-level employment in a variety of health occupations under the supervision of a registered nurse. Special emphasis is placed on nurse assisting, medical assisting, and home health care. The core curriculum consists of planned coursework for introduction of health careers, basic anatomy and physiology, medical terminology, legal and ethical aspects of healthcare and communications. This curriculum is based on research, experience, and many resources. The goal of Health Occupations Technology Program is to train a worker that is skilled, knowledgeable, and able to meet the needs of the industry today and well into the future. Um, we do a lot of hands-on skills, learn how to do things like take blood pressures, pulse, um, skills like making beds and bed baths that you use in the actual career. It's, it's just a realization that you're out of high school, someday you're going to get out of high school and you need to go somewhere. In this place, I think, and for a lot of other students, it shows them this is the real world. This is what you're going to have to do, this is what you're going to prepare for. Heating and air conditioning systems control the temperature, humidity, and total air quality. The need for trained technicians continues to grow in this area. Students enrolled in the program will gain valuable skills in all aspects of the HVAC industry. Entry-level students will become knowledgeable in electricity beginning with Ohm's Law, advancing to the schematics and circuitry. Emphasis is placed on piping, soldering, and brazing. Students will be able to install, diagnose, and repair fossil fuel systems and heat pumps. Valuable skills will be gained in blueprint reading and customer service. I'm working on is what we call window shaker. It's what you put in your window like an air conditioner and I'm trying to make it into my senior project but what I'm doing now is I took all the refrigerant out of it, put service valves in it and stuff like that and filled it up with the refrigerant that it needed, seeing if it runs better, seeing 
if I needed to take less refrigerant out or put more in and made sure everything ran right. The horticulture program is an excellent opportunity for students to gain valuable skills to work in a greenhouse environment. Students will explore plant science concepts as they relate to producing crops in a greenhouse or nursery setting. Techniques for creating flower arrangements and or corsages designed for use in weddings, parties, and other social affairs will be developed. Students will work in the retail store to develop skills in marketing and retailing. In the school's outdoor lab, students will become knowledgeable in landscape design, maintenance, and installation. Students will become proficient in the use of power tools as well as basic hand tools used in the trade. Horticulture is mainly about plants and vegetation. You learn how to make floor designs and manage a greenhouse and uh, become a landscaper. They teach you everything you need to know about what you want to do. It doesn't matter if it's greenhouse or floor or landscaping, you learn everything. As technology advances the way we ship and receive goods, the need for trained material handlers will continue to grow. Students enrolled in the Logistics and Warehouse Management program will gain practical application by working in the school's live distribution center. Participants will gain valuable skills in the use of the computer in maintaining an ongoing inventory, receiving and shipping goods, and updating stock cards. Students will also learn the barcoding process for scanning merchandise for inventory control. Professional communication and telephone skills are stressed throughout the program. Proper use and operation of an electric forklift, electric pallet lift, and other equipment used by a materials handler will be taught in the course. Students will also be knowledgeable in postal regulations, preparing shipments, and costs. Well, when the school orders the material, we, uh, it'll be shipped to the school. It comes through our shop. We inventory the packages. We, uh, we look at it and see what needs to be delivered. And we deliver it to the, the correct shop. And then if they need anything returned, we ship it back out to the companies. Metal workers use powered machine tools to shape and form many parts, which when assembled, produced many of the products that we use. The Machine Trades Technology Program is a NIMS, National Institute of Metalworking Skills, certified program that consists of practical application in metal cutting, drilling, milling, turning, grinding, sawing, and non-traditional electrical discharge, plunge, and wire cutting machines. Students become proficient in the use of rulers, micrometers, dial calipers, optical comparators, CMM, coordinate measuring machine, hardness tester, and surface finisher testers. Students will also gain skills in blueprint readings. Interested students may acquire NIMS credentials that are recognized by employers nationwide. This program has helped prepare me because it gives me a lot of basic skills and well, very necessary skills also. If you're good at math and you're good at working with your hands and enjoy making things, this could be a very good shop for you. Mason work is used in every part of our daily lives. Skilled masons construct hospitals, schools, malls, and even our homes. Masons work with such materials as concrete, brick, stone, and tile. The program consists of practical application of blueprint reading and the use of masonry tools and equipment. Students will become proficient in layout design, arches, bonds, corners, and ornamental patterns. Students will gain skills to complete fireplaces, glass block windows, walls, and ceramic tile work. Exercises will be repeated in order to develop accuracy, neatness, speed, and the necessary experience to analyze and solve problems. Students will also gain knowledge in estimating costs of projects and building code requirements. Uh, the project I'm currently on now is actually going to be in the paper here in a little while. It is two spiral piers with a Tudor arch going over the top of it. And I made my own custom caps to put on the top and pretty much just got done with that about three four days ago. You have ten different school districts 
so many different people. You meet new people every year, different teachers, different programs. Just, it's great. Mechatronics is a new dynamic field involving mechanical, instrumentation, electronics, robotics, automation, computer components, and control systems. An industrial robot is a prime example of a mechatronics system. It includes aspects of electronics, mechanical, and computing to do its day-to-day -day jobs. By networking hardware and software systems together, students will experience the demands of highly automated manufacturing processes commonly found in game machines, hybrid autos, smart products, and a long list of other equipment and systems that we depend on daily. Students enrolled in the program have the opportunity to join the first robotic team. Students in this program may work towards Electronics Technician Certification, ETA. Mechatronics is a combination between electronics and mechanics, uh, mainly focusing on robotics. I've always been interested in it and I really want to go into building electric vehicles and the program just kind of covers most of the basics for all that. This program is an excellent opportunity for those interested in exterior interior painting, interior decorating, wood finishing, and drywall finishing and spray painting. The program consists of practical application as well as basic theory. The practical application includes applying paint to interior and exterior surfaces. Emphasis is placed on proper handling of brushes, rollers, and spray equipment. Students will be taught to hang wall coverings, borders, vinyl fabric, and faux finishing to enhance the look of interior rooms. Students will gain skills in estimating, measuring, and color fundamentals. Time is also allotted for wood finishing and refinishing. I'd probably tell my friends back in my high school that this would actually be a good shop, you know, because if you think about it, when you get older and you want to work on your own house, you don't have to pay someone, you know, you could do it yourself. The only thing you would have to get stuck doing is buying the materials. You learn a lot of different things, and you do get to express yourself a lot through the work that you do. Students enrolled in the plumbing program will have a strong understanding of plumbing fundamentals. Explorations will occur in a hands-on environment. Students will be developing skills in sanitary piping systems, venting piping systems, and water supply systems in both installation and repair. Plumbing students will learn to read blueprints as well as how electricity and welding are used in the trade. Students will gain valuable knowledge in job planning and OSHA regulations. The program is basically like modern plumbing for your house and the stuff I've learned in this program is like how to run lines through a house and how to like braze and solder and all that stuff. CTC has done a lot of stuff for me because they taught me a lot of modern skills about plumbing and all that stuff and they taught me leadership skills and they've also taught me how to work better. Students enrolled in the Powerline program will make the connection to America's communication network. Students will gain technical skills in installation, troubleshooting, and repair of telecommunication equipment of all types, including telephone networks, computer networks, and video systems. Students will gain a fundamental understanding of electricity and electronics. Students will have the opportunity to learn pole and tower climbing techniques. Particular attention will be given to the computer and how it relates to telecommunication. Interested students may acquire industry certifications in networking and fiber optics through CTEC. Uh, you learn a variety of different stuff. You learn how to lash cable. Um, you got to be good with heights. You climb the tower. Uh, it's like a 100 foot tower we climb. Uh, you learn how to use all the equipment. We use, uh, we use gaffs, a bunch of hand tools, stuff like that. This is a good shop to go for. You know, they make good income and good benefits. It's definitely a good job to look into. The Protective Services Program is intended to present a comprehensive public safety education to students interested in pursuing a career or volunteer service in the fire, emergency medical, law enforcement, or emergency management services. The primary focus in this program is personal safety, 
and the interrelationship between public safety agencies. Since all areas of public safety must work together and responsibilities often overlap boundaries, the student will be expected to meet a minimum level of proficiency in all areas of the training program. The program also serves as a springboard into healthcare, legal, industrial safety, and public administration education careers. One of our projects now is um, we're covering FEMA um, through the government. It's a structural collapse program, anything from urban search and rescue to just your general structural collapse. If you love helping people, if you love being with people, and you love just trying to save lives, this is just the field for you. Welding is the most common way of permanently joining metal parts. Because of its strength, welding is used to construct and repair ships, automobiles, spacecraft, and many other manufactured products. Students enrolled in the program will be taught the fundamentals of welding. Students will learn to join metals by using shielded metal arc welding, gas metal arc welding, and gas tungsten arc welding. Students will also acquire skills in oxyacetylene gas welding. Skills in metal forming, layout, and cutting will also be obtained. Job safety is stressed throughout the program. What I'm working on right now is we're actually working on a project for masonry, their sifter, to break up their dry mortar. One of those just went over, it rebuilt the whole thing. CTC has actually opened up a whole door for me to go through in the next step of my life. I mean, at first I was planning on going to like a trade school and that, but after being down here for four years, it just opens up a whole new door. Enrollment in a wellness course is required only as necessary to meet sending school district graduation requirements. Wellness provides students with course credit to meet the health, physical education requirements of their sending school district. Students can enroll in wellness and earn .5 credits each year. This course uses a blended curriculum based on the Pennsylvania Academic Standards for Health, Safety, and Physical Education. Students will engage in both physical activity and health concepts that promote lifelong wellness. Throughout the course, personal and team fitness activities will be implemented to reinforce health concepts and encourage well-being. Through a broad range of differentiated activities and instruction, students will be given learning opportunities that enrich their personal health. This will include the physical, social, emotional, intellectual, and environmental aspects as related to their personal development.